Hi there folks, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Once again, I'm using Chief Architect Premier version X9 on my Mac uh, desktop. And I am talking today about stairs. Stairs uh, are tricky and can be difficult sometimes. Uh, I have this set of stairs right now in the model where um, from the basement, you're coming up through uh, this direction, and then that lands at a, um, a door here. And then from first floor up to second floor, you're going around, and these are, these are open stairs. But as you can see, I've got a problem, a couple of problems. One is um, I really don't want this to extend beyond the door here. Uh, we'll see that in the ceiling, which um, I, I prefer not to do. The bigger problem really is is this landing here in right by the uh, front door. Um, so that is a problem. Um, I've got these automatic um, treads and landings set up properly with the heights and widths that I need to cover the, um, the basement stairs, but also um, the elevation that, uh, that this local municipality allows uh, for, um, for riser heights. Uh, they allow uh, up to eight and a quarter. So I'm at seven and 15 sixteenths riser height. I'm set there. How I can do this though is to split these landings uh, like so, and that will get rid of these two treads here. You'll, you'll just step up on a landing um, going this direction and up that way. So let's get to it. To start off with, I'm going to start at the top landing and uh, work my way down to the second landing. I suppose I could really go either way. I'm just going to do it uh, do it this way. To start off with, I'm going to open this landing and I'm going to uncheck the auto adjust height. I want, Chief has already grabbed what height this needs to be at to, to do the consistent 7 and 15 sixteenths and that's uh, just fine with me there. So I'm going to uncheck auto adjust height so we maintain the 72 and a half and maintain the 8 and 15 sixteenths thickness. I'm going to click OK. Now I've hit the F10 key on my keyboard. That's the icon you see um, right next to my arrow uh, cursor. If I hit F10 again, that turns on the angle snaps. F10 turns off the angle snaps, and that's why you see that cursor there. I'm going to pull this over to the corner like that. And um, Actually, that one's set for now. Now I'm going to copy this in place, copy and paste in place. But before I do that, I just noticed something. I noticed that, um, interesting. I noticed that, that this edge of the, of the stairs and the landing is going straight to the, uh, to the studs, not to the drywall, and I really don't want that scenario. So let's push, that's in the corner. From here to there is 37 and a half, seven. There we go. I'm gonna pull that, there we go. Three foot seven is wide enough. And now we're back on track. So I'm gonna pull this landing straight to the corner of the drywall. Now I will copy paste in place. And I'm going to pull this over here to this corner of the stair landing. I left this top left corner at, at the drywall corner and that's great. And then I'm gonna pull this over to the corner of the stairs. Okay, now it's showing that a um, railing is along this edge and I don't want that railing. So I'm going to click 
near the edge of the landing and you'll see the large square uh, handle versus the small square handle and what the large square handle indicates I've selected that edge of the polyline of the landing and I'm just going to delete that railing from this edge. Now this I'm going to double click on this landing and open it up. It's still at 72 and a half. Uh, so what I want to do is 72 and a half and subtract 7 and 15 sixteenths. Remember that's the rise, the consistent rise. I've done that here on my, um, I, I put a little unpaid plug in for Arch Calc, uh, a little app that you can get for Mac or PC. I don't remember the cost of it exactly, but it's um, very helpful to me. So I did uh, 72 and a half minus 7 and 15 sixteenths, and that comes up with 64 and 9 sixteenths is the height that I want this landing to be at. So I'm going to enter that 64 and 9 sixteenths. And this landing is set at the top of the stairs here, so we should be at the same 7 uh, 7 and 15 sixteenths. It is not. Let's see why. For some reason, I have a railing here. Let's pull this like that, and let's re try to reattach it. Okay, so I had to pull this top section of stairs away, and and then did a point to point move from stair to landing, and now that's set at the seven and fifteen sixteenths height. This one, let's move it away, move the landing away, and then we'll move it back to touch the stair. Okay. Oh, I know why. <laughs> I need to take one tread off of this here. Now, if I open that, tr that tread, there we go, 7 and 15 sixteenths. So the trick was I, I dropped one riser here by one riser, so I need to remove this riser on, on this end. Now we're going to do the same thing for this landing, and we're going to uncheck auto adjust and uncheck auto adjust. And I'm going to take this corner to that corner and turn off the railing on that selected edge. Copy, paste in place. I'm going to pull this down here. I'm going to click on near this edge, this diagonal edge of the landing, and turn off the railing for that edge and pull this over to the corner of the stairs. And once again, I get a railing, so I'm going to turn off, so select that edge and turn it off. The last thing, last two things is I can now delete this tread and then drop this, uh, oh, I got one more thing here. I got a railing on this edge. I can drop this, um, landing down by 7 and 15 sixteenths. So this is going to be 16 and 13 sixteenths inches minus 7 and 15 sixteenths inches. 8 and 7 eighths. 8 7 eighths inches. I already had that. 8 7 eighths inches in the top height dialog box there. Let's double check our um, stair objects, 7 and 15 sixteenths, 7 and 15 sixteenths, that's fine. Let's take a 
dollhouse view, perspective floor overview. And that will work. All right, so I don't have um, this quite set up accurately for the basement stairs. Uh, that just is gonna take one more wall here. Let's find my interior wall there. I'm gonna turn my angle snaps back on. I'm gonna pull this wall all the way to the end. Like so. And then I'm going to do a invisible wall across there. Let's pull that invisible wall down here. And select that room now, open that room as an open below room. I'm gonna turn off the show room label. Let's take our dollhouse view one more time. Make sure everything is as it should be. Yes, everything's working. Now I can see the stairs down to the basement. And uh, now I just have to figure out, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Not sure why it's creating these wings, so to speak, off of the stairs, but I'll figure that out and um, and it's doing the same thing under the landing. Let's say seven. Hmm. Not sure why it's creating that. When I figure it out, I'll let you know maybe on, a ne on their uh, next Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, last little bit is just this trim here does not happen in this room like that. So let's remove that trim. Actually, I'm going to remove all the molding from this floor. So I went into my default settings, current floor moldings, select that one, and we're going to delete that. We'll leave the base molding. Not sure why it left it in that room. Just need to check floor default. There we go. All right, there you have it. Uh, stair landing winders. Uh, I opened the uh, stair landing specification dialog box. Uncheck auto adjust heights. Cop. Uh, shape it to the appropriate diagonals that you want. I did a copy paste in place, reshaped it and dropped it the appropriate riser elevation. Did Repeated that for the same thing on this landing and removed my two uh, treads that were here. All right, this has been Tim Schrock. Uh, I, well, I still am Tim Schrock. Uh, this has been Tech Tip Tuesdays. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If this has been helpful or if you've learned something new today uh, or, or appreciated the, uh, the information, please uh, give me a thumbs up on the video and uh, always subscribe and we'll get more Tech Tip Tuesday videos to you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.